In this segment, we're going to be recognizing students for incredible work in social studies, broadcasting, with a special award named the Ted Brege Award, and also recognition for the student who earned the most hours of community service over the past four years. I'd like to now acknowledge a special award that we give out each year in social studies. The students are required to do 35 hours of community service in order to graduate. But I always tell students if they want to attend a, a Jesuit university or go to a UC, that they might want to do more than 35 hours of community service. And we give out an award each year to the student who puts in the most hours of community service. And I'm always amazed year in, year out, when we give out this award, how many hours these students put in. The award this year goes to Joshua Warner Carey, who put in more than 1,000 hours of community service during his four years here at Half Moon Bay High School. Joshua, I don't know how you found the time to sleep, but congratulations. You win the award for having uh, put in the most hours of community service. Way to go. Hi, this is Misty Martini and I'm here to present the Peer Helper Department Award. The award goes to Rachel Uribe, being an outstanding peer helper for the last three years. She's kind and helpful with a great sense of humor and she's been a great asset to the program over the years. Thank you, Rachel. Congratulations. I find each student in my third period class special, but this academic award is gonna to go to Danelli. Danelli, you inspire me with your ability to take risks and I appreciate how often you ask questions. Congratulations, Danelli. Everyone, happy department awards night. I am the mighty Mr. Hart with the mighty Ms. Phillips. And we are part of the social science department. Tonight we will be giving our award winners for both U.S. History and for government courses. I'm going to start with my second period U.S. History class and award winner, I am proudly going to say, Kai Eckert, congratulations, second period U.S. History. And for third period U.S. Government, we have Joey King. For fourth period U.S. Government, we got George Atkinson. For fifth period U.S. Government, we have Brianna Fritas. And for 6th period U.S. Government, we get the mighty Thomas Harrell. And for 7th period U.S. Government, we have Calvin George. Congratulations, scholars. Thank you so much for a tremendous year. Once again, the department awards are not only for the highest achieving scholars, but the ones who contributed to our classroom culture and made sure that our school environment was not only safe, but a pleasant place to expand our learning. Thank you so much, everyone. Go Cougar! Hello, I'm Mr. Hoskins, and uh, I'm here to honor uh, students in my classes uh, for the awards assembly. For uh, the 12th graders, uh, second period economics class, uh, it is uh, Kai Smith. And for fourth period, it is Maria Gutierrez Ariola. And for uh, AP World History, uh, first period, it is uh, Jess Palmer Sammons. And for, let's say, fourth or er, fifth period, that would be none other than Eric Dubois. And for sixth period, it would be none other than Hannah Pye. So I'd like to congratulate all the students in my class who did very well and uh, the award winners. So, congratulations. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mr. Majora, and I'm going to give my nominations for top scholars. Second period world history goes to Anna Bickle. First period of the day, uh, most students are pretty tired, but Anna's always ready to go. She's a hard worker, has this drive for knowledge. It's no wonder why she earned the top grade and my nomination. Fifth period world history goes to Juliana Pinturelli. In a class of grumbling stomachs and high energy, Juliana is able to keep her focus, uh, follow directions perfectly, and brings out the best in whoever she works with. Seventh period world history goes to Siona Hawani. Uh, this class being the end of the day, the students have their energy levels maxed out. Siona is able to ride that wave with ease and help anyone else that might need a helping hand. 
Moving on to my seniors, third period AP government goes to Claire Yerby, a student that will always share her opinion in a discussion or a story that relates to the topic. Her ability to recall random facts at just the right times is very impressive. And last but not least, sixth period AP government goes to Phineas Lehan. He's down to earth, he's a keen observer, and he's probably that person who does crossword puzzles in ink. Congratulations, students. Keep up the good work. I'd like to acknowledge the outstanding student in my broadcasting class this year. That award will go to David Sims. Mr. Sims, excellent job this year in broadcasting, taking part in our day-to-day -day class discussions, and of course, uh, your part in uh, participating as talent on our campus news. Speaking of which, I'd like to also acknowledge two students who helped out with our campus news this year on a volunteer basis. They will not receive uh, official awards, but I'll acknowledge them here. Thank you so much to both Lauren and Gabby. Without your participation, our campus news would not have been able to occur on a day-to-day -day basis, and you guys have been a tremendous help during the shelter in place. Thank you again to Lauren and Gabby. I'm here now to present the awards to the outstanding U.S. history students in my class that excelled during the 2019 and 2020 school year. In first period, the award goes to Zach. Zach, excellent job contributing in our day-to-day -day discussions and staying on top of the workload, especially during the shelter in place. In third period, the award goes to Genevieve. Genevieve, excellent writing in those uh, essays, especially the take home essays during the shelter in place. And I enjoyed reading your essay work during the course of the school year. And of course, those two big free throws you made in the big basketball game. In fourth period, the award goes to Avery. Avery, you were brand new to our class at the semester break, joining us in January, but boy, you shined in the second semester. I noticed, so you win the award for the most outstanding U.S. history student in my fourth period class. And for fifth period, the award goes to Edian. Tremendous, very meticulous worker on top of every assignment and an excellent essay writer. Edian. Congratulations, you've been named the outstanding student in my fifth period U.S. history class. Congratulations to all the students who won awards this year in my U.S. history classes. Hello Cougars, Mr. Roth here. Wanted to take a moment to acknowledge these five special freshmen who I was so fortunate to have in class. Thank you. Valeria Lopez Gonzalez, Juliana Aguilar, Vance Islander, Julian Jimenez, and Kai Zinnett. Congratulations. Hi everybody, this is Mr. Tyson. I want to announce the winners for the Social Studies Award for my class. These were a really hard decision for me to make because I had such outstanding students this year who all worked extremely hard. But I have decided that these five students were the people who best exemplified what being successful in my class is all about. So let's start with my seniors in AP uh, Psychology with Kohei Tanaka. Kohei, it was such an honor and privilege teaching you this year. You are such a great student. I love the energy and your enthusiasm for the subject, always coming in with questions, always willing to be part of the conversation and the discussions we have in class. I wish you luck in next year when you go to UCSB. And take care and go Gauchos. Uh, the next I'd like to talk about is my A Advanced Placement Human Geographies. These were students who as freshmen took an AP class and that's a very difficult thing to do and these two freshmen went far beyond what was required of them as students as group leaders, as leaders in the class. They always added to classroom discussion, they led study groups and these really embody what we're looking for in leadership here at Happen Bay High School. So I'm pleased to announce the winners for AP Human Geography are Charlotte Ragusen and Brian Bohier. So congratulations to you two. And then finally for my freshman studies class, the winners are Audrey Negret and Vanessa Ariaga. 
Rodriguez. You two worked extremely hard this year. You always added to classroom discussions. You were exemplary on how to act in a classroom. I look forward to seeing what you two are going to accomplish next year as a sophomores. Take care and I'll see you next year. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. 2020, Half Moon Bay High School, remote learning and on-site excellence, award-winning AP U.S. History Department Award winners. Second period, Rachel Janar. Third period, Ryan Hildebrand. Seventh period, Kenneth Jones. And adding to this magic moment, our 2020 illustrious, scintillating, incredible, dynamic, resurgent world history winners. Fourth period, Diego Acosta. And sixth period, Cassandra Rogers. Thank you. You guys have been an honor to work with. All the best. I'd like to now acknowledge the winner of the Ted Breggy Award. This is a special award in honor of Ted Breggy, a longtime history teacher here at Half Moon Bay High School. We recognize the outstanding senior in social science for their interest in the curriculum and of course their aptitude in their four years here at Half Moon Bay High School. And this year, I offer congratulations. The winner of the Ted Breggy Award is Audrey Boer. Congratulations, Audrey. We noticed your outstanding four-year performance in social studies here at Half Moon Bay High School. And now here, with a few words about Audrey, is her senior government and economics teacher Mr. Majora. Hi, I'm Mr. Majora and I had the pleasure of teaching Audrey Boer economics and AP government and politics. I nominated Audrey for the Ted Breggy Award for a few reasons. First of all, her achievements in the social studies department speak for themselves. She has taken every AP class that we offer and has received top scores for each. Uh, also, she's going on to university to further her studies in the social sciences, in the field of environmental economics and policy. Audrey definitely has a passion for the subject and shows it in her work ethic and class engagement. Congratulations, Audrey. Students, once again, congratulations. A job well done that you've done such good work this year. Very proud of you.